Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed outer angles. We have seen that the sum of the outer angles of any polygon is 360 degrees. We have seen different types of polygons. Today, we are going to discuss a particular type of polygons called regular polygons. Let us consider a triangle. Suppose all the angles of this triangle are equal, then how much is each angle? We know some of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. If all the angles are equal, then one angle is 180 divided by 3 or 60 degree. That means when all the angles are equal, each angle is 60 degree. When all angles of a triangle are equal, we know all its sides are also equal. On the other hand, if the sides of a triangle are equal, then its angles are also equal. And such triangles are called equilateral triangle. That means in an equilateral triangle, all sides are equal and all angles are also equal. If the angles of a quadrilateral are equal, is it necessary that the sides are also equal? Let us consider a rectangle. Here, all angles are equal and we know all angles are 90 degree. Are all its sides equal? No. That means, when all angles of a quadrilateral are equal, it is not necessary that all sides are also equal. But when all sides and all angles of a quadrilateral are equal, then it is a square. We know all sides are equal and all angles are equal to 90 degree. Now, if the sides of a quadrilateral are equal, should the angles also be equal? Let us consider a rhombus where all the four sides are equal. Now, look at the angles. This is less than 90 degree, but this is more than 90 degree. That means the angles are not equal. So, when all angles of a quadrilateral are equal, its sides need not be equal. And when all sides of a quadrilateral are equal, its angles need not be equal. But there is a quadrilateral in which all sides and all angles are equal. It is a square. Now, let us consider a pentagon. What is the sum of the angles of a pentagon? We know some of the angles of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degree. Since there are 5 sides, some of the angles of a pentagon is 5 minus 2 or 3 into 180 and that is equal to 540. When all angles are equal, one angle is 540 divided by 5 or 108 degree. Now there are pentagons where all angles are equal or angles equal to 108 degree but the sides need not be equal and there are pentagons where all sides are equal and the angles need not be equal but there are pentagons where all sides are equal and all angles are equal such pentagons are called regular pentagons that means in a regular pentagon all angles are equal and all sides are also equal. Now when we consider a hexagon, if all its sides are equal, that doesn't mean all its angles are also equal. And if all angles are equal, that doesn't mean all its sides are equal. But there is a hexagon with all angles equal and all sides equal. Such hexagons are called regular hexagons. Generally, these figures are called regular polygons. That is, a regular polygon is a polygon with all sides equal and all angles equal. So, equilateral triangle is a regular polygon, square is a regular polygon, regular pentagon is a regular polygon, regular hexagon is also a regular polygon. And all the polygons with all sides equal and all angles equal are called regular polygons. Now let us look at some problems. ABCD is a regular pentagon. 
calculate the angles at the vertex D. Let us take the figure. Given that it is a regular pentagon and we have to find the angles at the vertex D. There are three angles at this vertex. Given that ABCDE is a regular pentagon, therefore all its angles are equal and they are equal to 108 degree. Angle E is an angle in this regular pentagon, therefore angle E equal to 108 degree. Since it is a regular pentagon, all its sides are equal. Therefore, the sides DE and AE are also equal. That means, in triangle AED, two sides are equal. Therefore, it is an isosceles triangle. And we know, in an isosceles triangle, the angles opposite to equal sides are equal. That means, these two angles are equal. The sum of the three angles in a triangle is 180 degree. Therefore, sum of these two angles is 180 minus 108 or 72 degree. Since these two angles are equal, each of them equal to 36 degrees. Similarly, look at triangle BDC. Angle C is an angle in the regular pentagon. Therefore, that is equal to 108 degree. And it is an isosceles triangle since CD and BC are equal. Therefore, these two angles are equal and they are equal to 36 degrees. Now, look at the vertex D. The angle EDC is an angle in the regular pentagon. Therefore, that is also equal to 108 degrees. But this angle is divided into three angles. So, sum of all these three angles is 108 degree. That is angle EDA plus angle ADB plus angle CDB equal to 108 degree. But we have already obtained that these two angles are 36 degree. Replacing we get 36 plus angle ADB plus 36 equal to 108 degree. 36 plus 36 is 72. So we can write 72 degree plus angle ADB equal to 108 degrees. Therefore, angle ADB equal to 108 minus 72 or 36 degree. That means this angle is also equal to 36 degree or all the angles at the vertex D is 36 degrees. Or we can say that the lines AD and BD divide angle D into three equal parts. Another problem, the same figure. ABCD is a regular pentagon. The line PQ is parallel to AB. Find angle PDE and angle QDC. Suppose these two are a pair of parallel lines and another line intersect these two parallel lines like this. Then these two angles are a pair of alternate angles and they are equal. Now let us come back to the figure. Given that PQ is parallel to AB, that means AB and PQ are a pair of parallel lines and the line AD is intersecting them. Therefore, these two are a pair of alternate angles and they are equal. Now look at angle EAB. It is an angle in the regular pentagon. Therefore, that is equal to 108 degree. Now, we have already seen that this angle is 36 degree. Therefore, angle DAP equal to 108 minus 36 or 72 degrees. Since this angle is 72 degree, this angle is also 72 degree. That means angle PDA is also equal to 72 degree. Now, angle PDA is divided into two angles, angle PDE and angle EDA. Therefore, we can say angle PDE plus angle EDA equal to 72 degree. We have already seen that this angle is 36 degree. Therefore, we can say angle PDE plus 36 degree equal to 72 degree. Therefore, angle PDE equal to 72 minus 36 or 36 degrees. Similarly, AB and PQ are a pair of parallel lines and the line BD is intersecting them. Therefore, 
these two are a pair of alternate angles so they are equal we have already seen that this angle is 36 degree therefore this is 72 degree that means this angle is 72 degree since this is 36 this angle is also equal to 36 degree that means angle QDC is also equal to 36 degree so we can say similarly angle QDC is also equal to 36 degrees at the end of this chapter there are nine problems let us do some of them we are going to do the problems on page 58 let us start with the third problem how much is each angle of a 15 sided regular polygon how much is each outer angle here number of sides is 15 and we have to find each inner and outer angle of this regular polygon we know some of the angles of a polygon of n sides is n minus 2 into 180 degree here number of sides is 15 that means n is 15 therefore sum of the angles is 15 minus 2 or 13 into 180 we need to find each inner angle so i am keeping this as it is here number of sides is 15 therefore number of angles is also 15 therefore one inner angle is sum of angles divided by number of angles we have got sum of angles as 13 into 180 and number of angles is 15 therefore one angle is 13 into 180 divided by 50 now let us simplify 3 fives are 15 and 36 fives are 180 1 3 is 3 and 12 3 are 36 now what remains 13 into 12 divided by 1 13 into 12 is 156 156 divided by 1 is 156 that means one angle or one inner angle is 156 degree now we know the sum of the inner and outer angles at each vertex is 180 degree therefore one outer angle is 180 minus 156 or 24 degrees fourth problem one angle of a regular polygon is 168 degrees how many sides does it have given that one angle is 168 degree that means one inner angle is 168 degree we know sum of the inner and outer angles at each vertex is 180 degree therefore one outer angle is 180 minus inner angle or 180 minus 168 and that is equal to 12 degrees we know sum of the outer angles is 360 degree and number of outer angles is sum of the outer angles divided by one outer angle sum of the outer angles is 360 one outer angle is 12 therefore number of outer angles is 360 divided by 12 or 30 we know for every polygon number of sides number of angles and number of outer angles are equal since there are 30 outer angles number of sides is also equal to 30 fifth problem can we draw a regular polygon with each outer angle 6 degree what about 7 degree let us take the first case one outer angle is 6 degree we know number of outer angles is sum of the outer angles divided by one outer angle sum of the outer angles is 360 degree and here one outer angle is 6 degree therefore number of outer angles is 360 divided by 6 and that is equal to 60 60 is a natural number therefore it can be number of outer angles of a polygon more clearly we can say that when we take a regular polygon of 60 sides one outer angle is 6 degree therefore we can say we can draw a regular polygon with each outer angle 6 degree second case one outer angle is 7 degree we know number of outer angles is sum of the outer angles divided by one outer angle that is 360 by 7 now let us divide 360 by 7 5 7 are 35 subtracting we get 1 and putting the 0 we get 10 1 7 is 7 and there is a remainder 3 that means we cannot divide 360 by 7 exactly or 360 by 7 is not a natural number it is 51 point something 
Number of outer angles should be a natural number. Since 360 by 7 is not a natural number, we cannot draw a regular polygon with each outer angle 7 degree. Now let us recall what we have learned today. Today we have discussed regular polygons. A polygon with equal sides and equal angles is called a regular polygon. Now there are two home assignments. Draw a hexagon of equal sides and unequal angles. Draw a hexagon of equal angles and unequal sides. We shall discuss the remaining problems in the next video. Till then, bye.